Hello and welcome to this Cody House tutorial. Today we are going to create together SVG section dividers. So let me show you a few examples. We just published the new component on Cody House, uh, which is section divider. And uh, we have a collection of uh, dividers that you can copy and paste into your project. As you can see, you can create as many effects as you want. And today I'm going to show you how you can create your own. All right, so to follow along, you need to use the, uh, our, either our code pen template, which comes with the Cody House framework already installed, so you don't really need to install anything. Or if you prefer, you can uh, uh, download the framework on GitHub and follow the instructions to launch the framework. Okay, so uh, we're going to use CodePen for this tutorial. In the link to this template is in the description of this video. All right, so let's get started. Let's create a pin from this template. And uh, let's call this uh, divider, section divider. This is the design encode series of Cody House. So let's save as private. Okay, so we can uh, delete all this stuff because we don't really need it. We can close the JS tab as well. And now we can start. So let's add a section. Inside the section, we want to add another uh, development with a padding Y XXL. So this is a utility class of the Cody House framework. Uh, inside of here, we can use another utility class container and uh, we can add the text component element inside as well with just some uh, some text. We can, uh, for example, write here uh, cool SVG divider. And then we can add some random lorem ipsum. The text component is another utility class of the framework. It's used to stylize uh, text text elements. Takes care, it, it takes care of uh, spacing and, um, and other stuff. And then container class is another utility class. As you can see, it sets some uh, margins on both sides of the, of the component. And we can actually modify the max width with a max width adaptive small class. This way we can set different, uh, different max width at different breakpoints. And as you can see, it looks uh, much better because we break, we break the text on more lines and it's easier to read. Okay, so we can now create the SVG. We're going to use Illustrator to create the SVG. You can follow some of this stuff in other tools as well, but there are some uh, effects that are way easier to create in Illustrator. So let me show you. Uh, we are in Illustrator, we can create a new document. We're going to set a width of 1920 with the 60 pixels for height. Let's create this new section. Okay, so um, the idea here is to create an SVG element, which is a mask for the section it is applied to. So this is the part that we want to remo remove from the section. There are different, different ways to do so. For example, if you, if you grab the pen tool, you, if you grab actually the curvature tool, which makes it easier to create curves in Illustrator, you can just click a few points like so. Then you can switch to the pen tool, click here, go like that. And then you can switch fill and stroke, remove the stroke color entirely. And now, so this is the mask effect that we are applying. So as you can see, there is like a super easy way to create kind of a, a curve effect using the pen tool. And you can do this in, uh, in any kind of uh, uh, vector editors. You can do this in Sketch, in Figma, or whatever it is your vector editor of choice. Uh, but now we're going, we're going to do some more advanced stuff. So, and I think not sure, I'm not sure, honestly, you can do this stuff in other tools as well. So for example, let me create a rectangle. So I want to apply a stroke to this element, always a uh, black stroke. And for now, we are going to leave it to one pixel. Now in Illustrator, you can apply brushes. 
So if you don't have this icon here, you can go to Window, Brushes. And when you apply a, so if you click on the Brush Libraries menu, you can select a different kind of brushes. For example, let me select Ink. Now with the element selected, if you click on a brush, and remember you have to set the stroke on this element, uh, as you can see, now the brush is actually of a color, uh, kind of a white color, so you don't see it. So if we click on some other element, some other brush, sorry, you can see we are creating a, uh, an artistic borders for this element. Okay, so maybe this set of brushes is not the best one for our example, let me switch to this one. Actually, okay, this is the wrong color, let me set this equal to black. Okay, now as you can see, we have applied this uh, brush. We can increase the stroke so you can see the effect even better. And in doing so, we have created already a nice looking SVG mask. So if you're happy with uh, this effect, you can just select the element, click on object, expand, and then you can probably click on the shape mode, the unite shape mode, because you just want one path. Now we're going to select this element and press a few times shift command G because I want to ungroup this element. Now remember, I just, I want just one path. So I can select this element, press command three to hide it and see if there are some, uh, uh, as you can see, it's selecting something. There are some very small elements that I can just get rid of and delete them because in SVG, they are just going to be some extra code that some extra code that we don't need. Now let's bring back the, uh, the element uh, by pressing um, shift, uh, sorry, Alt Command 3 and on Windows I think it's Control Command 3. And uh, now because we were dealing with SVG, it's really important that we keep the size small by removing what is not necessary. So we can just grab, for example, the rectangle tool and create a rectangle here. We can create another re rectangle on this side and uh, a final one at the bottom. Now we can select all the elements on the screen and we can click on the uh, minus front uh, uh, pathfinder um, operation, let's say, because we want to remove these rectangles from the original uh, artistic uh, element that we, are, we have in the background. So if we press here, as you can see, now we have only this area here. We have removed some of the stuff which is extra code and it's not even visible in the end. Because remember, when you use SVGs, you are limited to the view box, which is this area here, which in Illustrator is called the artboard. Okay, so if you click the artboard tool, for example, you can see the sides of our um, artboard, which is 1920 by 60. Okay, now that we have this nice looking element, we can copy this and paste it into our, uh, into our um, project. But before we do so, I just want to show you another way to achieve a nice effect. So this is the way that uses brushes in Illustrator. But you can click, you can select this element and uh, you can just move it away for now. I just want to show you real quick another, uh, another technique. Uh, if you click on the curvature, curvature tool, and you start clicking around like this. Just want to create a series of curves. Okay, like that. Now you switch to the normal, to the standard pen tool, click again on the latest anchor point, then you click here and you close this shape. Now, we can get rid of the brushes. If you select this element, you can actually go to window or uh, effects, sorry, effects, distort and transform, and you can click on roughen. So what, what is this going to do? If you click, 
So at first you can see it looks really something crazy, but if you click on absolute, well you can see that the effect is way more subtle. Just give me a second, just wanna zoom in so you can see better what's happening. Effect and roughen. Preview, absolute. So when you click on uh, this uh, absolute uh, option and you start working with these uh, um, options you have you have over here, so you have a size option which is going to reduce these uh, these small effects or make them bigger, um, and then you can increase or decrease the details. So I want to actually increase the details a little. And okay, let's say I'm okay with that. You keep experimenting if you want to achieve something different. Then you click on OK. As you can see, in just a few steps, we have created a nice looking uh, um, effect which looks similar to like a, a paper or something, like a grunge uh, effect. If you want to save this as well, you have to select it and once again you have to click on Object and uh, Expand Appearance. And just like we did before, then you have to remove the extra sections that the part which is um, outside the artboard and then you have another uh, version that you can use for your um, SVG dividers. So pick the one you prefer, use the technique you prefer, you can experiment with other effects as well. In Illustrator you get so many different variations and create your own. Actually if you create something really cool show show um, your result on uh, on a tweet uh, to on twitter remember to tweet to us because we want to see what you are able to do with this stuff okay we are going to use the variation created with the, the brush tool to export this variation i'm going to press alt command e which i think is file uh, export export for screens okay and I'm going to export this as, so it doesn't matter the name uh, of this file. Make sure the format is SVG. My options uh, for the SVG format are presentation attributes, uh, three decimal. I'm going to minify this file and, and I think that's it. So let's export this file in the tutorial folder, export. Now, if we check the tutorial folder and we open this file, so here is the code. As you can see, it's quite a lot of code, but it's fine, it's fine. We can copy this entirely and we can paste it in our project right here and paste. We're going to remove the fill attribute for now. So as you can see, here it is. So this is our divider. Let me remove the, 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 the fill attribute. So in SVG, you don't have a background color stuff like that so we have fill for the fill color so we can get rid of the title we can apply here we can remove all this stuff from the id to data name to this to width and height we just need the ratio which is defined in the view box we can replace this with a class of section divider and on the path element now as you can see we have we haven't defined any color and still i can see that the color is black. That's because this is the default color of SVG elements. If you don't define the color, we could actually modify this, for example, setting a fill equal to red. Uh, and as you can see, now the, the, the divider is red. Okay, now let me start the CSS part of this tutorial. We want to add the class here of um, has section divider divider. We're going to use this class to add some style to the section element. We want to, for example, add a position relative. And then I'm going to use this for a padding bottom. But we need to do something else before that, uh, because we need to set a very specific padding bottom. So first of all, we want to modify the section divider element okay which is the svg element we have just created okay so we want first of all um first of all let me copy this section here and let me 
duplicate this. I'm just going to remove the SVG part because we want to reproduce a real case scenario. Then I want to have two sections, two adjacent sections. And now um, I go, I'm going to apply a data theme of soft secondary. Now, if you don't know what this is, so in the Code House framework, you can create data themes. You can do so if you go to Code House and you can actually uh, check for the colors. And here in this tool, you can uh, create the color themes. You can explore the color themes here. I have already created some and included them in the, in the code pen templates. And that's why if you enter uh, data theme soft uh, secondary, you see the same effect. They are not included by default in the framework. You have to uh, create them. You can use this tool. You can explore the themes by clicking on the uh, themes explorer over here. And this is the soft secondary uh, data theme that we are using right now. If you want to know more about the themes, then you can check our documentation. There is, there is plenty of information about working with colors and themes in the Cody House framework. Now let's go back to our tutorial. Uh, the section divider. So first of all, I want to get rid of this uh, extra margin that is visible over here with the display block. But then actually I want to move this uh, divider inside the section it is applied to. So I'm going to apply position of absolute, a left of zero, a bottom of minus one pixel and this is a little trick because this is going to remove some small rendering problems uh, that we have if we apply bottom of zero you can see sometimes a um, really subtle lines at the bottom but not if we set bottom minus one pixel then we can apply width of 100 percent and a height of auto okay now in doing so we have moved the divider inside the section and it's fine. Now, um, if we um, check this space over here, then you, you can notice that uh, if we consider the content of the section, this white space over here on top is not equal to this one. Actually, it is equal, but because we have the SVG element, which is taking this space over here, is taking away some, some of the white space below uh, at the bottom of the content. So we want to push this uh, down a little so that this white space uh, on top is equal to the one at the bottom. So we need to give some, some space, some air to the content. And uh, to do so in a really precise way, we can use a nice trick that I'm going to show you in a second. First of all, we need to define section divider height which is equal to 60 pixels i'm not entering pixels the units and uh, you will see why in a second uh, we just want the sides and i don't know if you remember but when we created the um, svg divider in illustrator we set the height equal to 60 pixels and the width equal to 1920 so width equal to 1920. So we want to uh, get from this the section divider ratio, which is equal to the height divided by the width. Okay. And because we want to apply this uh, ratio as the padding bottom of the section uh, has section divider element, so the section element itself, we need to multiply this by 100%. Uh, and this is why we couldn't use pixels because this is going, this is going to return uh, an error if we enter pixels here. Uh, because at the end we want a percentage value. So we can set now the parting bottom equal to section divider ratio. And save. 
And now the section divider is no longer taking uh, uh, space from the content. Now it's right in the middle, in the middle between uh, the two different uh, sections. Okay. Uh, the last thing we have to do is just setting proper colors because we have used a data theme on, on the second section. We can actually apply the same data theme on the path element as well. So you remember where we set a fill equal to red. We want to replace this with a variable, which is the color BG, the color background variable. And uh, now you don't see uh, anything, and that's because in the default team, the color background is equal to white. So in my case, if I go back to the color editor and I select default, now you can, now you can see that the background color is white. So this is the contrast scale is where we define the background color and the scale of contrast. And in this case, it's white. But we can, uh, we can apply a different data theme here the same data theme of this uh, section. And uh, when we do so, if you can see, uh, we are actually changing uh, the value of the color BG variable, which now is equal to this soft uh, blue color. And now we have created the divider effect. We can actually go ahead and apply a data theme equal to dark to this element here as well. Now, because data themes can be nested, this is not going to affect the, uh, this data theme here of the SVG element, which remains equal to the second section. All right, now we have our uh, customizable uh, SVG divider, which is responsive and everything. Now go ahead and create your own. And don't forget to show us what you come up with. Um, if for more tutorials, you can, uh, you can check our tutorial section. We just started this new section, Code School, where you can see uh, different uh, tutorials and on cool stuff. Would, uh, we will keep pushing on Code House. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.